Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with an all-new game, guys. I got this as a free Steam key, and it's called Elix. And this is, from what I understand, an RPG survival crafting game extraordinaire. Anyway, guys, I hope the music isn't too loud. We might have to do a little bit of adjustment, but let me go ahead and get into this and let's see what happens. Now we are going to go ahead and start us a new game. I think we're going to first turn this music down a little bit. Because it is way too loud. New game. Now, we're going to go ahead and do this at normal level. I don't know how difficult this is going to be, or what's even involved, but guys, this is truthfully the first time I've looked at this, so let's jump in. Magalan, home to a civilization of millions. Oh, wow. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Another apocalyptic Fighting thing. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. Hmm. The Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the Comet had bought something new. Hmm. Elix, Elix, an element unknown to Magalan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. Oh, wow. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Alves threatened the future of all the factions on Magalan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magalan. That's pretty impressive. Graphics are really good, guys. What the heck happened? Okay, doesn't look good for the home team. Ouch, 
Ow. Damn it, ow. <laughs> okay, I think I could probably improve the graphics a little bit. Because I'm getting like 80 frames per second. It's still not too bad. like that outfit. You just gonna throw your helmet away? Oops, what the hell's up with that? Jax, you've failed your mission. You know our directive. What? There can be only one consequence for failure. They're gonna kill him? <laughs> I guess so. Well, let me guess, he's not really dead. What the heck? Oh, he's taking his stuff. That's a n nice guy. Not. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Uh, looks like he's s s out on his own and screwed. All right, it looks like it has started, guys. Let me see if I can improve the graphics just a little bit more here. Okay, I'm still pretty getting pretty good, guys. I went ahead and set most of the things up to about at least high. And I'm still getting about 50 frames per second. That doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Okay, it says... Okay, good, there's a tutorial, so at least I'm not floundering about like a moron so it looks like I gotta take a small healing plant okay now what okay looks like tab is your attributes so yeah this is definitely a role-playing game we got strength constitution dexterity intelligence cunning and it doesn't look like I have any points to issue out. Looks like you also learn different skills. So you got abilities here. Radiation resistance. Lock picking. So I have an iron bar as a weapon. Wow, I'm just loaded with abilities. I got the small healing potion. Missions, armor, weapons, abilities. So, this is tricky, tricky. So, different combat weapons, attack strength. So that each one has a value associated with it. Yeah, I pretty much don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but it looks cool. Alright guys, I'm just going to walk around and see what, if anything, I'm supposed to do. So space bars to climb. Before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. Yeah, I think so. What is that? Well, that's weird. Some kind of a glowing thing. Alright. I 
must have been here for days. The Elix is gone from my system. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Uh-oh. Did Calix take them? No. No. If Calix had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was there, someone else. There's a thing this over there. Is it Dan? Enemy territory. If Calix returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Uh, there's a monster over there. There's a monster over there. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta go to the monster. I want to grab as much of the healing stuff as I can. I don't know what those little glowing things were. That was kind of weird. Okay, the middle button, sheath, and unsheath your weapon. Looks like you can go back and forth on the zoom. There we are, guys. Looks like I need to grow a little hair, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I think in this game, having... So I think this is something. It looks like something. Yep. Take mana plant. I don't know. It just kind of stood out for some reason. There's a thing... I have a bad have a bad feeling about this. Combine quick attacks and heavy attacks E to combos. The longer the combo, the more damage you deal. Always keep an eye on your stamina. I could find something useful in there. Awesome, and I got XP too. My skin. I look like one of the free people. There mustn't be a scrap of Elix left in my body. Take small mental energy reserve. So I got the skin of the... That's apparently some kind of a giant rat. What's this over here? Yeah, if you got your weapon in your hand, you can't pick anything up, which is... Uh, I don't know if that's good or not. What do we got here? Examine... U3, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where Crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. I can't repair this. Oh, hell. So that ain't gonna do me any good. So... Let's go up these steps, see what's up here. Hmm. I have a feeling there's something in here that's going to be important. Well, this is a... I like this. This is a really cool game. Slowly starting to learn it's what I can do here. Can't break that open. Can I get it going here? Yep, I can. Oop. So let's loot the dead rat. 
got a bone. I got a bone. Got a bone pick with you. Let's see here. Goodies. Goodies. No goodies. Damn. Goodies. Ooh, I got a goodie. Take electronic scrap. Take arrow. Take arrow. Take arrow. Take iron ore. Take casket. What the hell is that? Wait a minute, I thought I saw something else. Mm. Oh. It says clam. I think that's all I can get. A duct tape is always got to use. Small yellow gemstone. feeling the wine's going to be very important. Come on, I don't need the hammer. I guess not. Well, I think I've pulled everything out of this that I can. Rotting technology from the old world. That's all that's here. I'd better move on. I hear something. Another one of those things. Damn rats are everywhere. Eesh. Might as well get as much food as I can. But I got something to fight first. Oh, that's cool. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here amongst the rats. Now how do I get back up? Ah, that's it. God, this is cool. Take electronic scrap. Take pick lock. Take small healing potion. Nice. So there's still plenty of goodies in here. Just kind of looking around here. This is similar in many ways to the to Fallout. Tell you what guys, I am liking this game so far. I am really liking this game. I don't know if you've heard of it. I honestly, until just this time, there is something in that thing here. Another healing potion. That I can always use. Some of this stuff looks like stuff I could take, but... What it is is that I can climb. Ugh, another rat. <laughs> I 
never know what you're going to use the scrap for. It's just like in Fallout. I'm sure there's going to be a limit how much I can carry. Looks like that's Elix. Say so remove the small mesh and the oil lamp. Probably use that. So I guess when you run out of room, you can drop things off or store them. There's something over here. What the hell is that? Oh, it's those glowing things. What the hell are those? They're weird is what they are. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're on to the next level here. Awesome sauce. Chapter 1, The Hunt Begins. Pretty damned awesome. I'm here in enemy territory. What was Kallax doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Yeah, but where am I gonna find all that nonsense? I've already checked. I think the only weapon I've got is the bow. Let me see here. How do I equip them? The two, let's see, one. So assign a quick slot. So let's put that in two or three. There we go. I got it. What's this? I don't have any heavy weapons. I don't have any two-handed weapons. I do have arrows. But I only have three. Here I've got the small healing potions, mana potions, mental energy reserve. I'm gonna hold on to those for a second. So, okay, survive. Use the elevator. Campaign of Vengeance. Calyx is waiting for me. Why else would he have been there right when I crashed? Someone tried to kill me. And if they are prepared to go to those lengths, then they won't stop until I am dead. It will be a long way through many adversaries, but I must find answers. I have to find my old strength if I am able to have a chance against Kallax. A half defective tin can. Crony U4 combat drone apparently survived under the Raider crash. He requires repairs, but should make a capable companion. Cool. So I can mark that on the map. Here's the map. So I'm way over here, apparently. Nope, that's the crony. Oh, good God. I'm... I'm... He so I gotta go all this distance to get to him. Not good. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Well, I don't want to use that if I don't have to. 
so here we go this is the bow and arrow huh so you hold and then you aim oops I <laughs> shouldn't have done that that was probably dumb well I lost an arrow guys that was that was dumb that was dumb I know it was dumb stupid stupid Don't waste arrows. Okay, magnesium torch. Okay, here's the elevator. Alright, I guess there's nothing else in here. Clippers, skippers, Evacuation sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observing room. Well, that was loud. Clippers, stippers, bedroom slippers, all out. It is a monster. Okay. <laughs> my jetpack. Finally some luck. Where? The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, all I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? <laughs> Where? Jetpack? What jetpack? Oh. Okay. Space bar to use jetpack. Oh. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So we can go jump, jump. Pretty darn cool. I think we got us another rat. I'd rather have a gun, though, you know, of some kind. And some kind of a light would be nice, too. I wonder if there's a flashlight. Do I have a flashlight? Hear something. <laughs> All right, something happened. I ended up turning the sound way up and damn near deafened myself. want to make sure I don't miss anything. That's always what I'm afraid of. I don't miss something. I bet you anything I should use a magnesium torch. Let me go ahead and check this. Maybe that'll give me some light. Let's see. Cans. Soup. Mana plant. Magnesium torch. Well, let's put it in slot. Let's put it in slot zero. Yep, I can see now. Oh. Now there is a necessity, if I ever saw one. Got to have, you go without anything else, but you got to have toilet paper, guys. I mean, that's just the way of things are. 
We've got worker pants. Another small healing potion. Why in the world did I drop the thing? Guess I had to drop it in order to pick stuff up. Anything up here? No. Nothing up there. <clears throat> yeah, when you use your weapon, you have to drop it. That's not good, but there's another room over here to check out, guys. <laughs> Hate rats. Got cigarettes. sure why I'd climb another healing potion. Electronic scrap. Magnesium torch. I'll tell you guys, this is seriously cool. Dried meat. I'm sure there's going to be eventually a limit here how much I can carry. Ooh, hammer. Hammer could be good. Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and Check my inventory again. Let's see. Iron bar. Okay, I can wear that. Can't assign a value to that. Looks like my torch went out. Oh, apparently the hammer is just not a weapon. Of course, in my book, it is a weapon, but, you know, whatever. Oh, that's, that must have been the old magnesium flare. Edan, the land of the berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kallax's job for him. I got plenty of magnesium flares.
Another more of Elixit. I hate to just throw it away because I kind of like to see if there's anything that I might have missed. Yep. I'll just leave that here then. Alright. We are off into the unknown, guys. i tell you what. This looks like a good place to stop. Whoa, what's that? What is that? It's a it's a thing. Oh, it's a it's a dude. Ow. Come on. Get up. If you're going to make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before he even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. I don't apologize for anything. Prove you're not a thief, and I might not I might trust you. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment. If you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an Alb raiding party. Between them and the Rot Wars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. Let's see. So how should I answer this? You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. I didn't see any Alps. I didn't see anyone. Huh, you're scared of the alb abs. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, then you got really lucky. An alb raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of alps. But hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're going to do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. <laughs> well, he's got a point. Let's see. What you say is logical. It sounds like you've been brainwashed. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. Let's go with logical. What you say is logical. Logical. Right. Does that mean you're coming? Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, 
your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. Well, that's cool. And you just take people in? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here, or come with me? Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you for now. Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. For now. <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotbor territory, and you won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. Uh, I will just say I will come with you to Goliath. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. Then follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. Actions like sprinting, shift left, attacking, E or evading, two times cost stamina. If you're out of stamina, you can't perform these action perform these actions. And neither of us want to end up as rot for food. Let's go. All right, guys. Please remember to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.